Most learners, and if the truth were known, practitioners turn to Google as their place of choice to find images. But this can cause problems since they may well be covered by copyright rules. We've been able to search for Creative Commons and copyright free images using Google Images for a long time, but the features have been a little hidden. Thankfully, Google has now updated the search tools to make it a little easier to filter by the usage rights and to find images users are allowed to reuse and copy. To use this update, first perform a Google search as normal. Here I've searched for classrooms and when the search results appear, click on the images link. Again, no different than normal. Then on the resulting page of images, click on the search tools link. Another strip menu appears where users can filter the results, resulting images by their size, color, type, usage rights, and there are a few more tools as well. As we're searching for Creative Commons and copyright free images, users should click the usage rights link. The drop down menu shown here allows users to filter for images that they can. Let's take a closer look. Label for reuse, label for commercial reuse, label for reuse with modification, and labeled for commercial reuse with modification. With the chosen filter applied, all of the images presented should hopefully be available to reuse in work without breaching copyright rules. It's good practice, however, to click on the thumbnail to see the image and visit the original source. It's always good to double check and to copy the original URL for attribution. I hope you found this useful and if you've never played with the other Google search options, they can be very handy especially if searching for images of a particular size or by color, which is handy if learners are making, for example, mood boards and other similar things, or by type of image, clip art or line art, etc. Then you'd filter by type. That's all for me for now, John DL, until the next clip.